in this section we'll be discussing architecture of bdl for hana but before that let's see what was the early design of bw looked like this is very famous design from bell for the basic bw architecture which says that you get the data from various sources you acquire the data and then you store the data and then you deliver the data so the basic idea still remains the same that you divide your data into multiple category clean the data and make it available for the analysis so this overall design has become mature over the period because it was in early 90s i think but the idea the basic idea of having a layered architecture for different kind of work is still exist so this was very brilliant design i would say from bell where he mentions that you need to divide the data into different layers and then process them to make it a clean data which you can analyze on so this was very early design then later we'll see how the lsa++ architecture which is recommended by sap has evolved and how we can use it in bdl for hana and what was the guideline set by sap how you should go ahead and use the data so architecture of bdl for hana it has basically any warehouse system has three layer of extraction that is data acquisition from sources then they process the data transform the data and then make it available for reporting or dumping into another system that is the basic architecture of any warehouse system so sap bdl for hana is no different here also you can get the data from third party sources you can get it from the etl tools and dump it into sap hana database there we have calculation engine which process the data we also have option of sda and eim these are the brokers in the system which can help you in getting the data in from various sources from data lakes as well and for sap system we have odp framework available from sap so odp framework we will discuss in detail in future but the idea is for sap systems you have inbuilt option available given by sap which you can use and get the data into bdl for hana so you can get the data from etl tools like bods or cburger or any third party sources you can get the data from data lake using the brokers of sap bdl for hana or hana platform and you can obviously get data from sap sources that is a preferred way in bdl for hana server we have metadata manager which handles the overall metadata of the system analytic manager is something new which has come up with bdl for hana what it does is it simplifies the execution plan and optimize the execution plan and choose the best plan to process the data whenever any query gets fired analytical manager comes into picture and it does it work and optimize the system optimize the query optimize the execution plan to make it very lean and efficient so that is the work of analytical manager it is a broker which sits in the system and executes the plan and optimize the plans data warehousing is obviously the core concept of data storage we also have bw workspaces you can have your own workspace where you can load your data and join them with existing data in the system and do your uh, testing there and obviously we have sap bw for hana modeling tools like eclipse or hana studio which you can use to create the objects in the system and create your design how you want to have the system built there you have modeling tools available you can dump your data to any database or ftp location using open hub services so you can basically send out your data out of the system and you can also have third party bi clients like tableau power bi which can access your database and run the query through your system to fetch the data and obviously we have our own sap bo platform which has webby lumira sse these kind of tools are available which you can use to extract the data from bdl for hana so this is the basic overall design of how bdl for hana has been set up what different part do what is their work and how data gets acquired processed and reported so this was all about architecture of bdl for hana we'll go further in next section thank you